Hey there, welcome back to Jones and the Travel. My name's Aaron, and today we're gonna to take a look at our 2014 Bighorn 3260 Elite. We just purchased a new coach, a new to us coach, and we're selling the Bighorn here. So let's do a walk around and we'll go check out the inside and we'll give you all the scoop on what the Bighorn has to offer. The dry weight on this big horn is just over 11,000 pounds. It's about 14,000 pounds gro gross weight with a 2,100 pound pin weight. So you can safely tow this fifth wheel with a three quarter or a one ton pickup truck. Don't necessarily need a dually, it's not that heavy, but we have a dually and we really enjoyed pulling it with a dually because of the stability of that truck. But this is kind of a light fifth wheel um, and easy to tow. The big horn is equipped with a 73 gallon freshwater tank two 45 gallon gray tanks one for the bathroom one for the kitchen island and one 45 gallon black tank now tina and i can get away with about two weeks of boondocking before we fill the black tank and then about a little less than that with the fresh water depending on how frugal you are but it's definitely this is a boondocking machine and we're all set up with solar we'll talk about here in a little later um, but let's go ahead and go around and get all the scoop on the outside. All right, you'll see this yellow cord here. We'll talk about that here in just a little bit. Uh, but to start off with, we have a 12 gallon DSI propane water heater. And it's a little dusty from the road, but uh, it's fully functional, it works great. I've serviced it every year that we've owned it. So it's been kept up. And you'll notice the Bighorn's really dirty. We're out here in quartzite and uh, we had it washed recently, but when you come out here, the dust is just terrible. So um, it's still dirty, but uh, it still shows really well. It's, the paint on this coach is beautiful. These are actually painted on graphics. They're not stickers. So this is your base coat, and then this, these are paint. So they're gonna last as long as the paint will last, which is really awesome. Bighorn is also equipped with a 35,000 BTU propane furnace, a 15,000 BTU air conditioner and a 13,500 BTU air conditioner in the bedroom and we'll look at those when we go inside. Let's take a look at the storage compartment. This massive storage compartment, it goes all the way through. You can see the door on the other side. This here is the battery box that houses our lithium batteries. We're going to take those with us to our new coach. I'm going to leave the box in place. If you want to go with lithiums, let me know. I can get you a deal on lithiums. If not, we can put lead acids back in the front and everything will hook up just fine. No, no issues there. And I'm more than happy to help you get the batteries hooked up. Um, we have the LCI electronic automatic leveling, six point leveling. Uh, this coach also comes equipped with RV snap pads. Uh, we've had on there for a couple of years and we love the snap pads. They do an amazing job and we don't need to use blocks or pads or anything like that when we set the coach up and level it. This coach is also equipped with central vac and we're, we don't have the attachments for the vacuum. Uh, we did not get them when we purchased it, but um, they should be a pretty easy item to pick up. Um, we have outdoor entertainment here with an AM FM uh, radio, plays CDs. And one thing that we added, which is kind of neat, um, under the awning, we have an LED light. Let's back up here a second. So up under the awning is an LED light and the factory original went out shortly after we bought the Bighorn, so we upgraded to um, a color changing light. So you have all these options and it'll do different uh, modes and that sort of thing, which is really neat. Kind of adds to the patio ambiance. <laughs> all right, let's close this up. All right, now we have two 30 gallon, or I'm sorry, two seven gallon 30 pound propane tanks, one on this side, one on the other side. Um, and there's an automatic switch on the other side to transfer back and forth between the two. Outdoor outlets and speakers, awning. All right, so this is the front storage compartment. This is where the batteries originally lived. And you can see here we've got a Xantrix 3000 watt inverter. We've got two solar charge controllers our negative and positive battery buses, battery cutoff switch. This is our hydraulic leveling system, hydraulic uh, pump and reservoir. You have two valves here where you can shut off the, uh, the slides. The two main slides are hydraulic. 
so you can close one or the other to prevent that slide from operating and there's some extra pads here that I left in these are temperature sensors so if you go back to lead acid batteries you'll need these temperature sensors uh, but I can show you how those work and then on the other side of this wall are the lithium batteries um, as I mentioned before, we can pull those batteries out, we can put lead acids back here, and we can just pull these leads right to the batteries. Um, it's pretty easy, so that's no big deal. All right. Moving right up here to the front, we got a brand new Flex Air pin box, and we had some some chunking uh, go on with our previous pin box, so I replaced it with this um, 18,000 pound flex air, and not a bit of problem. This thing is pretty amazing uh, for dampening those bumps and, and jerks on the road. This is our bedroom side, so this contains the headboard and the mattress. We'll show you that when we go inside. Again, we have another seven gallon propane tank. This is the automatic switch to transfer between the two tanks. Super easy to get in and out um, and fill up. And uh, it makes it really nice when you can just grab one and go while you're switched to the new one. All right, let me see here. Let's bend down here a second. We have sewer hose storage. This is a 20 foot extension hose in this pipe. And in this pipe is the main extension hose. Um, and I built that little box there to hold the head of the hose. Um, with that said, um, the hose will be included with the RV, so because it's all self-contained. Mm. This is the other side of this massive storage compartment. Um, here's a little sewer hose trolley for you. Um, I went ahead and left in. There are tie downs in here as well, so if you wanted to put a cooler or something in here, you could tie it down so it wouldn't slide all around. Um, one thing I did want to mention is. If you decide not to go with lithiums and we pull those better and you want to pull this box out, it's simple. It's just screwed to the floor so it can come right out and relieve all that extra storage space. But the box is also strong enough to stack on top of. So if you end up leaving it, you can stack cargo on top of that box. I made it plenty strong. All right, moving on over to the water, water bay. We have a nice LED light in here. This is where you can hook up cable if you're at an RV park. Got an outdoor shower with hot and cold water, which is really nice. Um, you'll notice this little pigtail here. Now, while we have 110 volts, um, I actually use a 12 volt water pump to pump water into the rig when we're boondocking. And I put this pigtail so I can plug in my uh, 12 volt water pump. So that's kind of a nice feature. Uh, another cable outlet here. This is our city water connection. And this is the Anderson Cant Leak valve that will switch from using the water tank, sanitizing the rig, um, filling the tank, and then city fixtures if you're hooked up to an RV park. This is the black tank flush, the water heater bypass, and then we have gray tank number one and number two, and the black tank. So one of these is for the bathroom, one of these is for the kitchen, and then the black tank, of course, for the black water. Um, and then a nice uh, port here in the bottom where you can run all your hoses up through and still close the door. So that's nice and convenient. Um, we've really, uh, really had good luck with this Bighorn. Um, I have replaced this cartridge once. So it's just, um, I don't know, just a little over a year old. So it's all in good function. This is that 35,000 BTU Suburban uh, propane furnace. It's all in good working order. I did put a... <laughs> I did put a control board in this about a little over a year ago, so that's all good to go. Um, this is our main sewer drain. I did put an extra valve here on the outside. Um, that way if any of the internal valves begin to leak, then you've got a fail safe valve here so that when you pull the cap, it doesn't come all over you. Um, let's take a look at the wheels and tires real quick. Um, about a little over a year ago, I replaced the brakes, the bearings, the uh, brake drums, the wheels, and the tires. We had two factory wheels that were cracked, uh, very, very tiny cracks. But as soon as I noticed them, I ordered a full set of wheels and tires and replaced everything. Um, this is one of the living room slides. We have opposing slides. Um, inside, when we go in, you'll see how roomy it is because of the opposing slides. So that's that. Um, let's step back here real quick and take a look at the roof. 
or what we can see of the roof. We have six 200 watt solar panels giving us 1200 watts of solar feeding into our two solar controllers. That allows this rig to be a boondocking machine. Now, coming around this way, we're currently using our small generator. So um, this generator may or may not be included in the sale. It's something we can discuss. It works really well. Um, but back to that yellow cord on the other side, we're actually powering our new coach, which is behind us over here. It uh, does not have solar on it just yet. So I've got the extension cord plugged into the Bighorn and then plugged into the new rig. And we're using the Bighorn as a power supply. So this solar system is working well enough that it's keeping the batteries charged over here and it's also feeding our new coach. So the solar system of this thing is amazing. I replaced these panels in January, literally a month ago, not even a month ago. Um, I upgraded them before we decided to upgrade our rigs. So you're getting brand new solar panels. So <laughs> that's awesome. Here we have an electric cord reel. So when you get ready to roll this big heavy 50 amp cord up, You've got an electric reel, which is super nice. I love this. This is one of my favorite features of this Bighorn is this electric cord reel. Really saves your back and lugging this big heavy cord around. Um, let's jump down here real quick to the bottom. You can see here there are two spare tires. We took this coach to Alaska last year and it performed fabulously. We had zero problems. But before we went, I added an extra spare tire. Now these are the two tires and rims that were not cracked. I saved them and I used them as spares. So two spares, they're in perfect shape and they're ready, you know, in case you have any issues on the road. Now I also have the tire pressure monitoring system on this coach. So that's something else that um, we can negotiate, but that will definitely save you if you have an issue with uh, a tire going flat or blowing out. I do want to point out this ladder. We had an incident and the bottom part of the ladder was damaged, so I took it off. This brand new factory replacement from Heartland is on its way. As soon as it gets here, this will be replaced. It'll be brand new. One thing we really love about this big horn is this great room type setup. So you have the opposing slides, which really opens this, this space up. The manufacturer says this big horn is 36 feet long. It actually measures 38. Uh, on the outside, so the inside is about 36. But with the opposing slides, you can see how big it makes it. Now, starting over here in the kitchen, we have a typical six cubic foot RV refrigerator, gas electric, so you can boondock all you want because you can run this on propane, and it works very, very well. In three years, we've defrosted the freezer once. That's how efficient this thing is. <laughs> um, now, originally, when this coach was new, there was an option to add a double door fridge. If you do that, you lose this little pantry, but you could always take this little pantry out and add a larger fridge if you so desire. Um, this is kind of nice though. This little pantry's got these rolling shelves. They lock so they don't fly out when you're traveling, but you can store you know, your spices, your canned goods. We have one on top and we have one on the bottom plenty of storage and even though it's small we're able to get a ton of, of groceries in here <laughs> we have the space above the microwave convection oven we use that for bread paper plates that sort of thing you've got covers on the stove itself easy enough to lift up get to the stove top and you could actually take these out and stow them away somewhere if you were stationary for a while. Um, we do have the Atwood uh, propane stove with oven. To be perfectly honest with you, we've never used the oven. We used it to store pans, but uh, we just never had a need for it. We have plenty of drawers. We have, even have a drawer under the oven. We have cabinets galore. We did add some shelving in these two cabinets up here, which kind of helps separate some things a bit. Um, so that's pretty nice. This rig also has a dish network satellite on top, which you know is of course optional. You can turn it on or not, but we do have two dish receivers that will come with the rig. One here in the living room and one upstairs in the bedroom, which we'll look at here in a minute. 
The TV here is on a televator. Should we get the TV to come up? There you go, TV on a televator. Uh, one thing we did add, uh, we added this Bose um, surround sound bar from Costco. And you simply pull it off, unplug it, and you can lay it on the couch when you travel so it doesn't fall off. But um, it's a really nice addition and gives you a really good uh, high fidelity sound when you're watching TV. We do have the electric fireplace. Uh, we can't run it right now because we're boondocking. Uh, you'd have to be plugged into shore power. Um, that and the two air conditioners are the only items that are not inverted in this coach. So this coach is 100% inverted minus the fireplace and the two air conditioners. So when you're boondocking, you're living just like you're plugged in, which is really awesome. Uh, moving back here to the back, uh, we've got the LED map lights up here. Originally, this coach had a couch in the back, um, and it was typical RV furniture, didn't last super long. Uh, because we both work from the road, we added a desk back here. We added a chair for me, for dad, <laughs> so I can sit here and relax and watch TV. And then we have a six foot couch here. And we have a six foot couch here. This is a couch from Ikea. Now, let me move this footstool out of the way and I'll show you something really cool about this couch. Um, you know, you can never have enough storage in an RV. Well, this couch actually comes out, whoa, folds out like this. I knew that was gonna happen. And you get storage underneath. So you can store items there. This also flips up and makes a queen bed. So now you have a queen size bed for your guest. You can sleep two people here, two people upstairs. There's your sleep floor. And then when you're done, you can stow your blankets and bedding underneath and simply put the cushions back and you're back to watching TV, visiting with your guests. All these pillows will be included with Coach along with the curtains that we added. Kind of gives it a little more homey feel with the curtains. All these lights are LEDs. They're super efficient. You have to have efficient electronics when you're boondocking and these are all LEDs. All the lights in this coach that were not LED from the factory, I've upgraded to LEDs, including the overhead lights above the kitchen and the lights downstairs in the storage bays. All right, let's check this out. This is a Mac Daddy of all pantries. <laughs> now, you'll notice that there are washer dryer hookups. You could put washer dryer here if you'd like. You could put a stacking unit, you could put a single unit. Uh, we opted just to use it as a pantry because it's tons of storage. Like I said before, you can never have too much storage. But uh, again, that's an option. You know, you could do either one or you could do a single unit and shelving. We've left some uh, tension rods here for you to be able to secure uh, stuff. And then you'll notice here we have some Dyson attachments. And this is where the Dyson is plugged in. When we get upstairs to the bathroom, we'll show you the coach does come with a Dyson vacuum. It's about two years old, maybe a little less than that, but uh, it works great. All right, let's check out this little cabinet. Not really much to write about here, except for this control panel. You can see we have a battery monitor. Uh, we have our typical gauge monitors that always say full. You can never trust those things. Have our slide controls. We have the LED light underneath the um, edge of the awning. And then we have your 12 volt, your DSI water heater, the water pump, um, and all the other controls there, all the lighting. Uh, nice centrally located location. Now this thing I wanted to show you is a remote. And this remote will do your slides. It'll do your awning, awning in and out. Let me go back here. And it'll do your main slides and your bedroom side. So this is really neat because when you're when you're getting ready to, to take off and you're getting everything put away and stowed and hooked up, you can kind of walk around with this. You can check and make sure your slides aren't going to hit something when you get to a new location. When you open them up, you can carry this with you outside while you're operating the slide. You can watch for those obstructions. Really super handy. I'm actually going to miss that. That was awesome. <laughs> 
All right, we have a nice little coffee bar here. We have an LED light mounted here that will stay with the rig. It's AAA batteries and it's on a magnet, so you can take it down, you can carry it around with you if you're in the dark at night. Um, and it's battery powered so it doesn't use um, any of your energy. We have uh, under cabinet storage, of course. We have a sub panel. This is how the inverter is wired. So we have a 30 amp inverter and everything that's inverted is wired into a sub panel. So it's all safe. It's up to electrical code. Nothing you have to worry about there. We have a nice little paper towel holder. That's just a kind of an added bonus. And then let's take a look at this beautiful island. We have plenty of drawers again. Here's an outlet so you can run your blender on top of the island. There's also an outlet here on the other end. And then just tons and tons of storage. Um, you'll notice the filters here, some spare filters. Uh, we actually have a ceramic filter for uh, bottle-like drinking water. And that's what comes out of the spigot up here on top of the sink. So that's really handy. That came from the, water, the RV water filter store. So you can get replacement filters from those guys. Um, we do have a dual stainless steel sink with covers. So you can see here, it's nice. You could always replace it or upgrade it if you'd like, but um, it's worked well for us. And the covers are really nice because you can increase your counter space with the cover. This nice, pretty blue bag from Heartland has got all the books in it for this rig, all the books that came from the factory, any accessory we've added, we've kept the manual or whatever kind of book it came with and we've added it here for you. So this is all your ownership documentation. <laughs> all right, let's step around here. I did forget something as we walked through the living room. This other desk, um, as I mentioned before, Tina and I both work from the road, um, you know, managing our channels and other things. And so we added a desk for Tina. Originally, this was a dining table uh, with two chairs from the factory again um, not super well built and you know because of our lifestyle uh, we decided to take that out and add the desk you could always add a table back you could always add a couch back to the end over here um, the cool thing about this rig is it's versatile and you can set it up however you like you could paint you could redo the window coverings you know it's pretty much a blank slate if you so desire to make those changes Let's head upstairs and check out the master suite. All right, so in this section here, we have a fantastic fan in the back of the living room that's on a thermostat. So you can set this if you're out and about and you have pets or something, you can set this so it will come on at a certain temperature. And that's really been convenient. We've really enjoyed that. We have the Dometic uh, air conditioner furnace control here, thermostat. This is a Bogart engineering battery monitor, and this talks to our two Bogart engineering solar controllers, and you can see here we have two uh, sets of panels on the roof. We have solar two and solar one, and we can go through the functionality of this, um, and I can show you how that's all set up and how it operates. Um, this is the Xantrex inverter control, and this will tell you your your battery voltage and you can change your charging profiles and all that stuff it's pretty neat and i can show you show you how all that works now one thing we added um, just to kind of make this more like a suite and give us a little more privacy because the door is here we added this curtain and when you shut that curtain you have a complete suite and you're segregated from the rest of the family and it makes it really nice because then you you can kind of move around up here without um, having to close doors and that sort of thing. All right, let's check out the bathroom. So here in the bathroom, we have a full-size shower. We put another curtain matching inside the glass door. Kind of helps keep the soapy water off the door. A lot easier to clean. We also have a full-size vanity with a sink cover. Now one thing we did add in this bathroom is this faucet. The original RV faucet was plastic and it was super low, like this low and you, it was hard to get your hands under it. So we added this high rise, uh, really stylish faucet. It's worked really well. Um, you also have a vanity mirror here on the wall so you can get up close and personal when you're you know, working on your face. 
Um, I changed these out to cool LEDs. You can see they're not hot at all. And then we have a big medicine cabinet. Um, all the kitchen and bathroom outlets are on a GFI, so you're safe there from any kind of electricity. We've also added the oxygenic shower head, which will allow you to boondock longer because of its water um, saving, it saves water. Um, this bathtub also has a skylight, so you get a little bit of light in there during the day, and uh, it makes the ceiling a little taller for some of us folks that are taller, we can still you know, wash our hair and, and we're not bumping the ceiling. The air conditioners are ducted, so you have an air conditioner duct here, and you have a furnace duct down in the floor. This is the Dyson vacuum um, with some attachments. The other attachments, like I said, are in the pantry, uh, but we're gonna include this with the rig so that um, you'll have the cleaning power of Dyson. We love it, so we figure you might love it too. All right, there's another cabinet above the toilet to store all those important toiletries in. And the finish on these cabinets is, is beautiful. I think you'll uh, come and see it in person, you'll really be pleased. We've added a little basket here in the master bedroom for hats and gloves and that, all that sort of thing. Um, this coat hook was is factory, so it stays in place. We've got a Sony Bravia TV. Uh, this is the dish um, receiver for the bedroom. You can see here we've got chest of drawers. Here's the remote controls um, and the chest of drawers. Another big window. More storage, you can never have enough storage. This is where we had our towels and linens and all that sort of thing. A big, I mean, this is huge. Huge storage, storage area. Three drawers, also quite large. Um, I mean, this, this big horn for its size has some amazing storage in it. Um, upgraded King mattress. Um, this mattress is a couple years old. Um, it's one of the best mattresses we've ever slept on. <laughs> um, we almost uh, kept it and took it with us, but uh, we decided to leave it because the new RV has a really great mattress in it. Um, let's lift up the bed. There's storage under the bed. Now what you're seeing there are all the reflectix. I've cut one for every single window in this coach. So on those super cold nights or super hot days, you can put this in the windows and it actually keeps it cooler or warmer in here. Um, so I left all those for you and they're all under the bed, uh, but there is one for every window in this coach. All right. This bedroom slide does come in against the dresser, but you can still get and climb into the bed if you stop overnight at a truck stop or something like that, Walmart docking, you can get in. Uh, got a nice little shelf here and this thermostat controls the 13 and a half thousand BTU um, air conditioner here in the bedroom um, we've got latches here on the closet door so that they don't come flying around when you're traveling got a light in each side of the closet all right so take a look at this side of the closet we've got a nice shoe rack here plenty of space another chest of drawers um, which are actually quite big considering they're in the closet. Um, this, this big horn is just loaded with storage. Um, we got your cable and satellite inputs here um, coming in from downstairs with an outlet. And then you got a nice little mirror. I don't know if you stand in there and kind of do your makeup, but <laughs> there's a mirror there. And it comes with a safe. Um, this safe is big enough, you know, for your average stuff that you want to kind of lock away um, and keep prying hands off of. All right, let me open this other side of the closet real quick. All right, so you got two racks here, um, plenty of space for all your shoes and your hanging clothes on this side as well. Plenty of storage space in this closet along with this added uh, cabinet here. Um, there are tons and tons of storage. I can't talk enough about how much storage this big horn has for its size. This here is the switch for the satellite dish on the roof. You turn it on or off. Uh, pretty self-explanatory there. If you'll follow me, we'll go back downstairs. Okay, that completes our tour of our 2014 Heartland Bighorn 3260 Elite. 
Thanks for joining me today in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Share this with your friends. The Bighorn is for sale. We have upgraded to a new rig. We'll have that release coming out soon. Show you guys what we ended up getting. But uh, we, we're anxious to get the Bighorn down the road and with a new family that can really enjoy it. Take advantage of all the solar that's on the roof. Take advantage of setup to work remotely and just continue making families happy. We've really loved this big horn. We still love this big horn. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty amazing coach and with all the upgrades and all the maintenance that we've done to it, it's in perfect shape, ready to go to your house to get all your stuff loaded so you can hit the road like we did. Until next time, safe travel. Thanks again. Bye-bye.